All right, Kentucky bound. Got about eight and a half hours of driving ahead of us. It's 11 o'clock, so we'll get there about nine o'clock. Well, no, we'll get there about seven o'clock tonight. 7.30, something like that. So here we go. Kenny's ready to go. He's probably gonna leave us about time we hit the road. <laughs> so we'll keep y'all updated. Hopefully we get out there. I think we're gonna, it looks like we're getting a cold front tonight and then a cold front midweek. It's gonna drop down in the 20s after tonight and it's gonna drop down in the teens after that next cold front. So bucks should be moving. See what we can get into. Temperature I was talking about right here, son. <laughs> Let's be 35 this is what we need. Huh? Mm -hmm. It's go time now. Yes, sir. We got the barn, we got the weather. It's time to hunt. <laughs> All right, guys. Opening day of rifle here in Kentucky. Hunter's going to be out in the field on this point overlooking a uh, funnel. Kenny's going to be back in the back overlooking a big, thick bedding area. And I'm going to be kind of in a little pinch point between where these bucks like to travel so should be a good morning we got like a 30 degree temperature drop between yesterday and today what is it november 12th november 12th so big bucks should be up on their feet see if we can't get it done So, so far, I haven't seen any deer. Kenny saw two does, but it was because the wind switched. My wind's been swirling all morning, so Kenny's got a camera hanging up over here. I'm gonna swing over and grab it, check it real quick, and come on out and uh, get a game plan together for this afternoon. going in for the evening didn't like where I was at this morning we checked some cameras and uh, just weren't seeing much for buck activity in the daylight so we're hunting different say oh, I'm hunting a different section uh, Kenny and Hunter are going back to their same spots overlooking some corn so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ease my way down this road until I can get to a point where I can see a lot. As you can see, I got my rock up this time. Kenny just had this place cleared this year, so I elected to bring a rifle tonight and kind of do an observation sit as this front's coming through because we had some squirrely winds all day. So I'm gonna do more of an observation sit and then I'll dive deeper in tomorrow uh, on another section where I like to hold my bow, so there's this giant buck on camera, probably 160s. Uh, that's what I'm looking for. It's gonna have to be a big buck for me to shoot with my rifle tonight, so here we go.
was a buck I wanted to shoot. I'd have smoked him. I could have shot any of them with my bow, too. Alright, guys, day two. I'm about to head out. It's dropped off probably another six or eight degrees from what it was yesterday, so it's in the mid 20s this morning. I'm gonna get back in there early. We all saw three, we, well, all three of us saw bucks chasing does last night, and kind of looked like we we're at least gonna have one or two of those does come in here in the next couple days. So, hoping that uh, once one of those does comes in, it's gonna start drawing them big bucks out of the woodwork. So, should be a good day. Looking forward to it.
it's about to get wild. It's about to get wild. I didn't spook these deer so I have a hot doe directly in front of me and this buck is still just chasing little bucks off grunting and snort wheezing and chasing and everything I'm hoping that the reason why I was trying so hard not to spook them is I'm hoping that the activity that they've got going on up here now he's making a scrape I'm hoping that's going to bring a big buck in sometime throughout the day. But who knows? So far it's worked pretty good on the little bucks. But, yeah, so that's been the excitement for the day.
lost those two deer finally fed off. It is 310. So that the fucking doe has been there since like seven something this morning. Thank you. 